Hello and welcome again to GoGeekO.com. This is the second video of our data normalization series videos and this particular video covers the second normal form of relational databases or RDBMS. So let's look at what second normal form is and in few seconds we will be continuing with our example of provider diagnosis data which we saw in our previous video of first normal form I would highly recommend to check out that video if you haven't watched that video yet so to be in second normal form your data should be in first normal form the other important point is this second bullet point which says non key attributes are dependent on all parts of the primary key and we will be seeing that soon and it should have a primary key so let's look at our example so to make things easy we we are continuing with our previous example of first normal form where we have broken one table into two tables to make them into first normal form if we look at our first table which is the provider table and if we go back to the second normal form rules it should be in first normal form so it is so this table already is as we have seen in the first normal form video and then it also says non key attributes are dependent on all parts of the primary key so let's check that all non key attributes in this case these are dependent on this primary key and they are meaning whenever there is a provider ID 8472 it is actually related to the provider first name which is John last name which is Doe and the gender male so this table is already in the second normal form but to really showcase the second normal form example we need to see our second table these are all the non key attributes and in this case these two are my key or primary key attributes meaning combination of these two makes my whole row unique and when I say combination of these two primary key columns they are also called as composite primary key so going back to the definition non key attributes are dependent on all parts of the primary key so let's check some columns here let's say this one service date that's a non key attribute is it completely dependent on both of these columns if you think about it it does because provider ID 8472 did the diagnosis 798 on 3rd March so it is completely dependent on both of these columns so this column will stay here good similarly if we look at the service location ID this is also the same case as the service date but now if you look at our diagnosis description column which is a fever fever is not really dependent on provider ID it is only dependent on this diagnosis code similarly hypertension is only dependent on this diagnosis code so this column needs to get out of here now you might think about that what about these two columns so in this case these two columns are not at all dependent on these two fields they are really dependent on this particular field which is the service location ID and second normal form really does not talk about the non key attributes which are not at all dependent on the primary key so we will leave them as it is and these will be taken care in the third normal form but for now we have figured it out that diagnosis description is the non key attribute and is not dependent on both of the primary keys in this case now if I go down and look at my second normal form you can see I will have another table which is the diagnosis code and diagnosis description and it's a unique table with fever hypertension and stomach gas for all three different codes and my diagnosis description is out from from this table and now all my non key attributes are dependent on the combination or all my primary key column before I end this video I want to make a point that one might argue that this table should also have service location ID inside the composite primary key 
and they are absolutely right. But I have purposefully chosen not to, as the goal really here is to easily understand the three main normal forms, and we will actually be seeing how this service location ID plays an important role in our next video when we will be covering the third normal form. This completes this particular video and in our next tutorial of this data normalization series, we would be covering the third normal form and really speaking, that's where you pick the dirt out of your nails. So don't miss out on that and get the complete understanding of this topic. Thanks for watching this video and do visit our website gogeeko.com for more easy to learn videos and to contact us if you have any data related learning needs or if you have any questions thank you bye now